Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I want to thank our colleague from New York, Mr. Spadito, for introducing this important bipartisan resolution to condemn anti-Semitic speech. The Hamas horrific and murderous attack on Israel on October 7th massacred over 1,200 innocent people. Hamas terrorists committed brutal sexual assaults. They took over 250 people hostage and held them in wretched conditions. October 7th was the deadliest day for people of Jewish faith since the Holocaust. And since that awful day six months ago, we've seen a shocking rise in anti-Semitic attacks, symbolism, and speech, including a resurgence of the slogan, quote, from the river to the sea, end of quote. This phrase, from the river to the sea, comes directly from the terrorist organization Covenant. Hamas is clear about their ultimate goal, the destruction of the state of Israel and the death of Jews around the world. Article 7 of the August 18, 1988 Hamas Covenant calls for chasing every Jew behind trees and rocks until the last Jew is found behind a rock and is killed. So we must be clear, this rallying cry and others like it have no place in a peaceful and tolerant society. From the river to the sea refers to the land between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. This language calls for entirely destroying the state of Israel and replacing it with a Palestinian state. Slogans like this are clearly anti-Semitic and hateful. They inherently support the destruction of Israel and denying Jews the right of self-determination of any kind. Promoting violence against Israel and Jews is anti-Semitism, and we have the responsibility in Congress to condemn such language. With this resolution, we're condemning this hate speech in standing with our valued ally, Israel. We understand the chant of Tehran, gruesomely in English, quote, death to Israel, death to America. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from South Carolina.